It's good secondary defense. Correct. Belt and suspenders is what I say. Right. And that's what my grandpa always used to. <laughs> Next. <laughs> This is part three of Roofing Inspectors React. I'm Jeff Hopp, Technical Director of Sheffield Metals. I'm Dave Stubbs, Assistant Technical Director for Sheffield Metals. Today we're gonna to be mixing things up a little bit. Last couple of episodes were about good installations, bad installations. Today we're gonna to be looking at some before and afters. Uh, we're gonna be looking at unusual conditions, tricky conditions, and how they were addressed by the roofing contractors. You ready? Me ready. Let's go. That needs to be addressed. That's a big pipe and a big hole, and it's awful close to the seam. Thank you. All right, you wanna see what they did? I do. Well, they took care of it being close to the seam. Yeah, well. Boxed it off. Boxed it off, hopefully there's something up top. Corners look pretty tight. Yeah. Screw spacing looks good. They didn't cut any of the ribs, which is good, because that pipe is close to the rib. I'm happy they didn't decide to cut it out. Correct. Sure. Because now you completely ruined the integrity of the panel. Right. All right, let's see what else. Oh, showing spacings. Yep. Big fan. Got a tape measure. Big fan. All right. All right. Okay. All looks the way like, to the ridge. Well, it looks like they, you know, use some uh, periodic uh, supports for mm -hmm. whatever they're going to cover. It looks like they're going to take it clear to the clear to the head wall or whatever that that lineal flashing is. Yeah, you have to. Otherwise, you know, you're going to be boxed off and you're going to trap panel or trap water behind that behind those closures. So. Yeah. Good, good job bringing it all the way up to uh, the top. Let's see. Oh, so they used, uh, looks like they used some galvanized support just so, uh, you know, it doesn't push down. So not a, not a bad thing. That's a good yeah. option. Little, little surprise they didn't go with, you know, the same metal of the roof to keep it the same color. As far as the installation portion of it goes, it looks like they're doing a good job. Oh. Subflash. Flashed it with the colored panel. Yep. With colored metal. Yep. I take it back. Yeah. You got so me. So that galvanized must have just been a sub support. Yeah. Support, which is, which is great. Because you're really... you're spanning so long with it. Yep. It's continuing. Even better. Support. Big old pipe boot, screwed down. Yeah. Think they have enough penetration in that area? Hopefully, those are the only penetrations on the roof. <laughs> yeah. They just got them all in one spot. Right. Go ahead. Next. Okay. Well, okay. they got the double valley scenario, right? I mean, yep. that's always a contentious area for. Pitch changes. Yep, a little bit of a pitch change, a little bit of a ridge going into a double valley. I'm happy that they're covering the tops of the valleys and they're not just leaving it lapped. Right. At least they're thinking about it. Yeah, or just, yeah, button that ridge off and- Yeah, calling it a day. Yeah. Putting a bunch of exposed fasteners in it. Yeah, or, or, or frosting it. Yeah, well, that's an option. Do your best and cough the rest. Okay. So they ran that valley all the way underneath the panels, underneath, well, at least, yeah. Up to the panels to deflect the water from that, that all vulnerable valley to valley condition at the ridge. So proper water lap. Yep. That's good. Are there more? I'd love to see the Z closures on that last one. Yep. So got a square penetration. Yeah. Some kind of stanchion support. Stuff's already cut out. All right. Let's see what happened. Okay. Square pole, square boot. There's and they had to use a retro. Retro fit boot, obviously, because you can't get it over top of it. Right. And the retro boot. Uh, they put that, that retro seam where they, that kind of like zipper right. on the retro on the downside. So that's smart. That's yeah. why you do it. Plenty of fasteners. Looks like they used butyl and sealed it again. Sealed the top. Used stainless steel. What looks to be a bandit or might have been. Yeah, not your typical pipe band. So it looks like they used a decorative cover over the top of it just to cover up the boot because it was a little bit unsightly. Looks like a cool project and a cool job. It's a clean look and it looks like it should be watertight for a long time. Different colored panels, pretty cool. Ooh. Yeah, this is that ridge, that double valley condition that I hate so much. And, this and a lot of people leave it open. Yeah, and this is what happens a lot. They end cap that ridge and think that's gonna be, you know, the best deterrent of water. It might be the best deterrent of water at the top of the panels, just like every other ridge. But the vulnerability is that the water that collects at the top of that, the, the double valley condition. That's an issue. Yeah, and anytime you got to count on caulk on the outside of the system, it's just really not a good scenario. Yeah, a lot of contractors will take that that valley and and make a tab on the top and a tab on the other side and think that's good. And that's that is good, but I don't think it's the end all beat all when you can carry that ridge completely across. It's a good start. Yep, I agree. It's good secondary defense. Correct. Belt and suspenders is what I say. Right. 
And that's what my grandpa always used to. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. See, so they ran that under the ridge the way it, the way it should be. They figured it out. Obviously, we'd like to see those Zs just to make sure that they closed out that W Valley. That's right. always a contentious area for people. Yeah, that is, yeah. I mean, definitely see the Z closures not being cut at the W properly, or they're cut super wide, yeah. and then we just they fill it with caulk, or it's not tapered properly. From this photo, think, looks like they're on the right path. Yeah, I think you're getting what you want, but yeah, devil's in the details. Yeah, I do like the, uh, the offset cleat there. Yes, absolutely. Low, you know, low profile keeps everything tight. Wait for water to get off instead of trying to jam another panel in there. Yeah. Nope. Looks good. Well, those are the pictures we have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, comment down below. Subscribe to the Metal Roofing channel, and we'll catch you next time.